here from Gluten Free For You, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the new Cinema 4D features that are integrated into the new After Effects Creative Cloud. So Adobe is uh, bundled with After Effects CC Cinema 4D Lite, which is a scaled down version of the uh, Cinema 4D from Maxon. So to integrate it, go ahead and click, uh, you can click Layer, New, Maxon Cinema 4D File. This will ask you to name your file hit save and this will open up Cinema 4D and now uh, you go ahead and create something go ahead and uh, go to create object uh, cube and so you got your you got uh, your cube and your Cinema 4D file now you go ahead and hit save come back over to After Effects and you can see that cube is loaded right into there and over here you can see the Cineware plugin which is uh, letting After Effects do this. You can uh, see all the settings over here you got. Choose the camera. You can use the camera in Cinema 4D uh, or your composition camera. So you can change the composition camera, add a camera, Command, Option, Shift, C. And now you can move around your 3D environment in inside of After Effects. And this is a real 3D environment. It's not an illusion or anything. So you can go ahead and uh, back over in Cinema 4D. I'm going to copy my cube, paste it, move it over, hit save, come back over to After Effects, and see right there it's just updated. That's a real nice new feature there in After Effects. Another really cool feature in After Effects is the Refine Edge tool. Now if you use Photoshop, you're, you're going to be pretty familiar with this. What it does is that lets you go in there and make additional tweaks to, uh, to like a rotoscope and After Effects it would be. So you do your rotoscope, then you come in there with your fine edge tool and go ahead and uh, fix up harsh edges or roughed up stuff that's uh, not looking correct. And so let's go ahead and give this thing a shot. Go ahead and drop in my footage. Go ahead and double click it. My rotoscope tool. I'll go ahead and start to select the foreground, what I want it to keep. And draw over all the water, the boats, tree line, and that looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and clean up a few spots it missed here. Alright. And so you can see up here you got the tree line zoom in on that it looks pretty good but you can see there's some trees sticking out uh, it didn't get everything so let's go ahead and take the refine edge tool and that's right underneath your roto brush you hold down come over to the refine edge and we'll go ahead and start dragging this across the tree line where the sky and the tree meet drag it across there Alright, and you can see now it's highlighted it. And it's also over here. These are options are grayed out before we have access to them now. You can smooth it out. I'll go ahead and give it a smooth, give it a little bit of a feather. And now I'm going to come back over to my composition. So you can see here's our rotoscope. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop in our background for the sky replacement. Put that in there, and there you go. You've now got your sky replaced with your rotoscope. Just took a minute or so. This is just a rough draft, but you can see it, cut, it got the trees, trees that are popping up over there. Instead of just cutting them right off, it grabbed them and it looks pretty nice. So that's another really nice new feature that's in After Effects CC. Alright, so this is just two of the features that I really liked in the new After Effects CC update. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more, and you can click here to check out our latest video. A little short skit, we did some uh, After Effects tracking in that one. Thanks for watching. Now then, squatter, unprepare yourself to die!